we've also um, launched a new feature to auto enable loop data when using the keyword data. So I'm going to show that now on a simple test case. What we were doing before, of course, is we've already always supported you to be able to loop over spreadsheet data or vectors. But we realized that when people do this, the UX wasn't that simple to do. So now what we do is we uh, have reserved the keyword data that will automatically uh, kind of assume that it's loop data. So we have this uh, test case on the lab.busang.com form fill that just fills the form. So I'm just going to really simply create a loop condition where we take um, information from a CSV file and we fill out this form. So bear with me. If you go here instead of product, you go into the test case and you'll add a CSV data and you use the keyword data you will automatically be prompted if you want to use this as loop data on this test case. So here, of course, you would use something like first name, maths, and here you would use tab to separate these uh, fields. Last name, let's say, Youngren. But of course, we want to have more data, so we'll also use Wen Sheng Li's name here. So now, of course, we have two rows of data that we can loop over. Here, what I would typically do is I would just very simply add a JavaScript action here where I would just kind of, now I will override the parameter first name and parameter last name using the keyword loop first name and loop last name. And as you can see, both on parameter and on loop, you will have the autocomplete to make it very simple, right? So you don't make any mistakes. Now we're going to go ahead and launch this. So when I press play, we also uh, kind of specified for you, which uh, do you want to run all the CSV lines or do you want to pick one line or do you want to pick, uh, you know, from zero to one. But in this case, I think what we want to do is run all the data. So just go ahead and press OK, and you should see the loop over the form over the data begin. Mats Jangren, the same as before, and then Wen Sheng Li. So this is, of course, very, very good when you're doing data provisioning or doing kind of um, things where you need to do. Uh, maybe you have to add a number of persons to take pagination, or you need to like delete a number of persons to... Uh, uh, clean up some data or something like that. So this is very useful. Of course, this has been with Busang from the beginning. The only news is that you see here is that when you use the data keyword, we suggest for you to use the loop data. And what we do behind the scenes is setting this under test setting basic info. We have this enable loop data here.